Good morning to all members and officer ng Rolf Reserve Officer Legion of the Philippines. Pinangunahan ng ating Secretary General na si First Lieutenant uh, Frank Francisco Pugna. Ayan. Ngayong araw po ay mayroon po tayong Christmas party na ginaganap dito sa may ususan tagig. So pakinggan po natin lahat ng mga sasabihin ng ating mga officers sila Colonel. A few moments later. This is a tangible project under the baton of Colonel Danilo Ayab. Give him a big big hand. Never in history that role was erected, but there was no creation of the NCR chapter. It is only this year that we realize, and now we are here under the roof, constructed by Engineer Colonel Arafa. It is therefore with pride and honor to honor this occasion on this day, this, the 3rd of December, I think, at the 2nd day of December. Really, it is very lucky and I hope it will be a happy, prosperous New Year. Thank you to everyone. Part 1 is registration, ay tapos naman, nakalista na kayo na yung pangalan. Then, the second is invocation to be presided by our chaplain, Major Nebel de Benagracia, sir, for the placing of our project at the same time, the invocation. Um, good morning to everyone. Um, the very reason behind bakit po tayo magkakaroon ng blessing of this uh, movable natin na conference hall, uh, because this is uh, based on Psalm 127 verse 1. So, um, sabi po dito, unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. So lahat po ito is not in vain, but uh, labor in vain. Sabi sa Tagalog, malibang itayo ng Panginoon ng bahay, or kagaya po nito, walang kabuluhang nagsisigawa ang nagtakay. Okay. So ibig sabihin po, hindi ito wala ka mga. Ito ay ina-acknowledge natin, especially those who have inserted their network to be part of ano po, ito na galit po sa ating ngayon. So ito po yung titiwala natin sa Panginoon sa Lord. Kasi alam natin na lahat ng bagay kapag pinagkakiwala mo sa Panginoon, magtatagumpay ka. Yan ang sinasabi ng pala na kasulatan na kung ang sabi doon, nasa sa Diyos ang pagpaplano, nasa sa tao ang pagpaplano, at nasa sa tao ang pag-iisip. So balit ang Diyos ang pinagmumula ng katagumpay. Ang sabi po doon, kung ipinagkakatiwala ng tao ang lahat ng kanyang iniisip at lahat ng kanyang pinaplano sa Diyos na pinagmumula ng katagumpay, magtatagumpa. So, baliwala po ang lahat ng bagay na ating iniisip at lahat na ating ginagawa bilang tao kung hindi natin pinagkakatiwala sa Diyos na alam natin sa hangin pinagkakamula ng katagumpa yan. Kaya po sa pagkakataon po ito, ang sabi rin sa Proverbs 24 verse 3, 4, By wisdom, a house is built and by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all pre precious and pleasant riches. So sa umaga pong ito, we will dedicate this conference hall to the Lord. And I'd like to request everyone to please rise. And please uh, bear with me and go with me the process of blessing and dedicating this movable conference hall unto the Lord. For our responsive reading, ang tugun po natin, ang response po natin is this. We dedicate this conference hall to the Lord. Repeat. If you obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on the earth. Response. All to you, O Lord. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God and you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Response. 
to dedicate this conference hall to you, O oh Lord. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeat, defeated before you. Response. We dedicate this conference hall to you, O oh Lord. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land He is giving you. Response. We dedicate this conference hall to you, O oh Lord. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of His bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations but will borrow from none. Response. Do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today, to the right or to the left, following other gods and serving them. Response. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so this time po, magkakaroon na tayo ng symbolical. May I have the candle, please? At least one candle. Or more? Ibigay po natin sa ating President, sa ating mga officer, sa ating Vice President, and then uh, sa ibang officer po natin. And then one representative from the enlisted personnel, please, the Master Sergeant, na para po sa candle. And then... Uh, What is the meaning? Bakit po may mga ganyan candles? Okay? The lighting of the candle ay nagsisimbolize po ito. Symbolical lang po ito. Nagsisimbolize ito that ang sabi po sa John chapter 8 verse 12, ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, I am the light of the world. It is recorded in the Gospel of John In declaring himself to be the light of the world, Jesus was claiming that he is the exclusive source of spiritual light. Alam niyo po dito sa ating sarok, hindi natin pwedeng iset aside ang ating spirituality. Okay? We are trichotomous. This human being, composed of body, soul, and spirit. Sino po ba rito ang walang soul? Purutin mo yung katabi mo. Aarayan. Kasi may emotion. Okay? At buhay na buhay. At the same time, meron po niyang Espiritu. The Spirit comes back to God. Siya po ang nagbigay, hininga, nagsimula niya kay Adam. Nung si Adam po ay uh, created by God, molded by God, at ito hiningahan niya, yung po yung Espiritu na galing sa Diyos. At yung Espiritu na yon, ang ihiwalay sa katawan na yung lupa na ito, ito yung babalik sa Diyos. Tama po ba? So we are a spiritual being at the same time. So this time, because Jesus is the source of spiritual life, no other source of spiritual truth is available to this organization. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. So we recognize Him so that we will be blessed. Marami pa pong ibibigay sa atin ng Diyos as long as we acknowledge Him. So sa pagkakatong pong ito, to those na wala pong hawak na mag-iikot po tayo nito, alam nyo po, ngayon ko lang po ito gagawin. Pero again, Malaking bagay po ito sa history po ng ating uh, rock. Every one of us here, creation po ni God. We are all sons and daughters of our Lord God. So, ibig sabihin po, all the authority has given to us already. We don't need a chaplain like me para namang mag-perform ng mga spiritual activities sa nato. Lahat po tayo ay binigyan ng kapangyarihan. As long as we have a clean heart, kung meron man po tayong mga pagkukulang ngayon, we can ask God to forgive us. Ang sabi po ng banal na kasulatan, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God has given you the authority and the power, and I am recognizing that. Kami lang po rito ay tagapanguna, guide us para po sa spirituality. Pero all of us here, naniniwala ako, God has a wonderful plan and purpose in your life. May mission pa po tayo rito, kaya meron po tayong authority. Gamitin po natin yung authority na yan. And so this time, as I'm going to pray the dedicatory prayer, I want you to scatter, and at least mag-touch lang po tayo sa part ng ito na ginawa. Hawakan po natin ito, because that's a symbol that we are claiming and dedicating back to God, and bless this, at gamitin ito para sa kapakanan ng bawat isang member ng role. 
Is that okay? Did I make myself clear? Punta lang po tayo sa, sa nahawakan po natin because that is the extension of the authority and the power of God to you. Huwag po natin ikahiya ating sarili. Huwag natin sabihin na makasalanan ako. Sino po bang hindi makasalanan? Tama po ba? Sino bang righteous? Nakakasala tayo but God is faithful to forgive us. Kaya after the forgiveness, we have now the power and authority. Na ano man hawakan natin, may biblical na ano po tayo dyan, ang sabi po rito. Ang sinasabi po rito na God said in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 8, I will bless the work of your hands and whatever you lay your hands shall prosper. Naniwala po ba? Gusto niyo ma-prosper po itong ating role? At ma-prosper pa lalo ito? Ang sabi po, ulitin ko po, hindi ako nagsabi ito, but the Bible said, and Moses is the one who wrote this book, Deuteronomy, Pentateuch. From Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, up to Deuteronomy. And Moses wrote, what I will bless the work of your hands, and whatever you lay your hands on shall prosper. Amen? Amen. 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 So, manalangin po tayo, magpe-pray po ako. Ipikit lang po natin ating mga mata so that there will be no disturbances, there will be no uh, anumang mga bagay, maging, uh, hindi po maging divided ang ating attention. And so, just pray. And at, uh, isa puso po natin ang content ng prayer. And after that, that will be the uh, end of our ceremony. And this is the prayer of dedication. Almighty and eternal God, be pleased to dwell in this place now dedicated to your name and to bless us who give, who have gathered together to give this place and ourselves to you this day. Let this conference hall and every part of it be used to glorify your name, O God, for our countrymen, and for the sovereignty of our motherland, together with all the officers and members of Prol NCR and those who are supporters, let it be devoted into your service and in the service for this nation. And we ask all these things as we touch every corner, every foundation of this conference hall in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, everybody will say, Amen. 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 Para pa po natin. Okay. Amen. Let us all be seated. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Lemon, our road chaplain. The next is the singing of the National Anthem. Verbally, to be led by Master Sergeant Ignacio. Oy buhay, lupang hiningan, duya ka ng magiging sa manlulupig. Di ka pa sisil sa dagat at bundok, sa simuyat, sa langit mong bughaw. May hilatang tuna at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagong ay na nagminingning Ang bituwi at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidiling Lupa na araw ng wal at ipagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya ng pagmay mga api Ang mamatay ng Thank you, Master Sergeant Ignacio. The next number 